So, I had my, my shared faults, uh, mistakes. Uh, I, I, I asked for forgiveness. I didn't repent it. Uh, I'm working on my way back you know, to sustain a uh, uh, working relationship with my spouse. Pray for me. Yeah. Okay. I'm not even in the joint house. I'm across the street like... <laughs> I'm right. I'm not even across the street. I'm in the backyard of some house's house and they dog house. I'm like, baby, what's up? Trying to get a Wi-Fi connection. <laughs> but, um, um, so the poem, the apology, as brother introduced me, Mark's man was inspired by a sister who told me, don't call her beautiful because she knows she's ugly. Her baby father tells, tells her she's ugly every day. Uh, her father never told her she was beautiful. Her uncle, no one in her family. And so, and when she told me this, I tried to compliment her on every little thing I can, that I thought was beautiful about her. But I was sincere when I said beautiful. She had nice nail beds, nice skin complexion, you know. Nice skin. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. You know? Hey, it was kind of busted, so I gave I gave her advice. You know, I gave her advice. They're like, if you want to feel beautiful, do things to make yourself feel beautiful. You know, why are you coming to work with your head like that with dandruff on your shoulder? And we was friends. We was friends. We was friends. So I can tell that. You, can, you gotta be honest with your friends. I hate a person. Tony, one day we on we at work and we on a walking. I got spinach in my teeth. This is surreal. Like, I never had spinach in my teeth before. I actually got spinach in my teeth. I look in the mirror and see spinach in my teeth. I said on the walk, I said, why no one tells me that I got spinach in my teeth? Like, and, I, and our job is check, check, match. So somebody says, oh, that's not an appropriate conversation over the walk. I'm like, yes, check, check. You, how am I approach a customer with spinach in my teeth? People to tell me I got spinach in my teeth. So I'm, I'm a firm believer. Tell your friends they got a book in their nose, or you know what I'm saying, something in their teeth. They you know, you some gum, brush, thing. Right. You know, if you find a way to tell them, if you don't, you know, some people, all people not approachable like that. We can just tell them something like that. Find a way, or find some out to tell them. You know, so I told her. I said, yeah, you, you know, you come to work with dandruff, dandruff on your shoulder. Your hair could be a little bit better, but you have a, you're a beautiful person. And she's still like, you want a game? You want something from me? Mm -hmm. Get out of here. And I'm like, wow. And I felt really bad for her. Like, so I went back and wrote the poem called Apology. So the poem goes like this. I solemnly apologize for all the guys who failed to realize, honor and recognize the sunrise in your eyes. I apologize for the men who failed to be your friend before trying to be your lover. Never to discover heaven in your mind, the wealth like gold in your soul, and all that's worthwhile in your smile. I apologize for being a child in a child's place when you needed us to be men, for not being righteous and forgiving into sin, for not seeing you as their soul, sister, respecting you like family, blood, or a distant kin, and for not realizing that without the black woman, black men can't win. And so I apologize again from the beginning to the end of your pain for running game, for the children we haven't claimed, for being conceited in vain, bringing shame to your name, being involved with you, having no real purpose or aim. And it's strange, now that my mentality has changed, mm. I see you as I have never seen you before, the gateway to heaven's door. More than one can explore because you're so deep. I repeat, so deep. And through your womanhood, I've learned to be a man indeed. And before I can proceed to succeed in this world, I must treat you like a woman instead of a girl. And so I apologize for failing to see the sunrise in your eye because my perverted vision was locked on your breast and thighs and I compromised my lust for your trust in no more lies in the skies of the truth. And you are proof that God is good. God is good. God is great. And I know my decision to express contrition is kind of late and way overdue. But black woman, this is my sincere apologies to you. Stay black, stay strong, divine, and beautiful. Mm. Amen. Amen.